Actors' Equity says it will place Broadway producer Garth Drobinski on its Do Not Work list just as soon as his financially troubled musical Paradise Square ends its run with a matinee on Sunday at the Ethel Barrymore Theatre. Once he's on the list, Equity members won't be allowed to work on Drobinski's stage productions until he's made things right with the union. He already is being sued by Equity and United Scenic Artists Local 829 for unpaid wages and benefit contributions. Equity is seeking $174.000, and United Scenic Artists is seeking $156.965. The company of Paradise Square has expressed their commitment to this show and want to continue to tell this story through its plan closing on July 17, Equity said in a statement. However, Garth Jabinski has made it clear that he is unable to uphold the terms of the union contract, so Equity intends to add him to our do not work list immediately afterwards. Paradise Square Broadway Review, history eludes musicals they reach the musical, which marked Jabinski's Broadway return, won a Tony for lead actress Joaquin Akala Kango but failed to catch on at the box office. For the weekending July 10, it only played to half capacity. We wanted to give Paradise Square every chance to succeed. Dravinsky said us earlier this week, but various challenges proved insurmountable. We endured two COVID shutdowns, including 13 days right after our opening night, which resulted in a crucial loss of marketing momentum. The show, produced after the start of the pandemic, was not eligible for SVOG funds and was without the benefit of indemnity as insurers would no longer cover new productions for losses due to COVID. Even with significant award recognition and the sensational performance delivered by Joaquin Akalu Kangu and our cast on the Tony Awards broadcast, we only saw a modest bump at the box office. 